meditate, inspire, laugh, and elevate every day, okay? So this was created to encourage us to, to reconcile our smile, um, to realize that we can learn, all of us can learn from each other, and also so that we can grow to our highest potential, that we can do that. So that is one of the reasons why I created the Smile Coaching Group. And also my spiritual mission is to guide people to their supreme self. So an empathic gift is a, is a spiritual gift that, uh, that we are born with. Um, we have, we're high, highly sensitive to like our different emotions. Sometimes we feel inklings or feel some type of way or we kind of have ideas, we dream, vivid dreams. Things happen in our life where we're like, you know what? I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Or sometimes we also have to where you're feeling like, ah, maybe I shouldn't go there. Maybe I should do something else. Or you meet somebody for the first time and you feel, man, I feel like I've known them forever. Like, it feels so good. Like, I've, I've, I've had those times before. Or deja vu. I don't know if you guys know what deja vu is. Deja vu is like having a moment where you feel like you've already done this, but you haven't, but you feel like you have. Those are different little ideas of how you can be empathic. That's a beautiful thing, but can also be challenging is empaths need to have a barrier or a boundary <laughs> around certain energies. And they have to be attuned to following their heart and not their head. So what do I mean by that? Your head knowledge can cause you to make decisions that is going against what your actual spiritual gift leads you to do. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we second guess it or we'll think, oh, I need to downplay this, that's just going too overboard, or I really shouldn't be feeling this way, but it's an actual feeling. And I'm not talking about something you're suspicious with because you're in your head about something, or I knew he was over there when he told me he was over here, not that kind of thing. I'm, just, I'm talking about you're moved or you feel in your soul. Something's not right and you're empathic, follow that, follow that feeling and guide because that's a part of your gift. The more you stay attuned with your gift and you don't short guess it, the better your gift will sharpen, okay? So that's very, very important. Financial literacy, we're on page number five. All right, and we're going to talk about five ways to save. We all need to know how much we, we it, it requires for us to eat, breathe, and sleep every month. This is very important. That amount is essential to know. Not just know because it's cool information, but it's good to know so you know how much you have to have coming into your home. How much do I need financially to live? What's it gonna cost me? Because if I don't know that amount, then I'm just living what? You guys gonna fill me in, what am I gonna say? Paycheck to paycheck. Yes, paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> Very important that you have a portfolio, a financial portfolio. And a portfolio means that you have it diversified. But let me explain something to you. When you have stocks, bonds, cryptocurrency, any of those assets, understand that that is accounted for money. But gold and silver in your home and diamonds is unaccounted for. I hope y'all got that. That's a nugget jumping in on the bandwagon right. and they're not thinking oh well if I'm gonna put all my money into this right it's all or nothing and you don't want to do that and so that's where a lot of people you know when the stock market crashed they invested their life savings and jumping off buildings because yes. they invest the money but they have money to 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 um Lose. To lose, but right. they get kind of greedy. They get greedy. Well, I need to start counting it every day. I want y'all to count it. There's an energy on it. 
Let me tell you something. The more you put your hands on this, the more will come to you. I'm not even kidding. It's energetic. The more you put your hands on hundreds and fifties, I learned this from doing this with my son. Hi, my name is Andrea McCrory. I'm from Springfield, Ohio. And I got the opportunity to meet Carla. We are small business owners. And um, we started our sessions about a year ago um, because I have some health issues. Carla has been very tremendous in helping me work through those issues. And I've been very satisfied, very pleased um, with um, her services. She and I have become the best of friends. And I invite everyone and encourage everyone to take part in Smile and Sip, as well as her coaching and her body energy works. Hi, my name's Ayana from Springfield, Ohio. I'm here for Miss Carla for her Smile and Sip. And really, she's taught me just how to be more in tune with myself, uh, spiritually, financially, and physically. She's connected with me on situations that I've never even spoken to her about and she's just touched right on it. So I just feel a lot of ladies should come around, get more comfortable with this type of environment. And just